Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to Houston Live. I'm Tessa Moreno. This is my friend, Derek Shore. Have you, have you met him? Now listen, all month long during Women's History Month, we've been highlighting incredible women who have just left their mark. Yeah, and someone who has definitely left her mark and continues leaving her mark, entrepreneur Candace Nelson. Candace Nelson is a boss in the kitchen, on TV, in print, and in the restaurant business. 20 years ago, she left a career in investment banking to follow her passion, baking. And in 2005, she and her husband Charles founded Sprinkles Cupcakes. The brand exploded in popularity, becoming a worldwide phenomenon and getting the attention of all kinds of famous faces. In 2012, the Sprinkles Cupcake ATM was unveiled, a cutting edge cupcake delivery system. And to date, the company has sold more than 200 million cupcakes. But cupcakes are just one of the things on Candace's plate. In 2017, she co-founded Pizzana, a fast-growing chain of award-winning pizzerias that have now made their way to Texas. She's also a published author and executive producer and star of the popular TV show Sugar Rush. Candace describes herself as a serial entrepreneur, and with her CN2 Ventures, she helps back startups with a focus on female and underrepresented groups. It's her belief that everyone deserves a seat at the table. And we are so glad to welcome Candace Nelson back to Houston Life. It's great to see you, Candace. It's so wonderful to see you. You know, I've been waiting for an excuse to get back to Houston. And you and always said you. when Pizzana opened, you would come back. You delivered on this promise. So in case our viewers don't know, way back in the day, in the mall days, <laughs> Candace came on Houston Life okay. when the show was a baby show. And you taught us how to frost cupcakes, which was so simple and pure. But Candace, truly, your idea 20 years ago really brought the cupcake back. Did you set out to create the empire you've created? I feel so fortunate to have had the career that I had because everyone said my idea would never make it. And you know, when I came out with Sprinkles, it was the first ever cupcakes only bakery. I think as an entrepreneur, you get used to having a vision for the world that people don't really understand yet. So there were a lot of naysayers around me, but I stayed true to my idea, I listened to my gut, and I persevered. Oh wow. my gosh, it's so inspiring because I think a lot of people, they are dealing with this fear, right? They want to bet on themselves. They want to have all of their dreams come true, of course, but they have, they listen to the naysayers. What gives you the courage to bet on yourself and win every time? <laughs> well, not every time. I think we have to understand that failure is part of the process too and not be so afraid of failure. And you're right. I think in particular, women actually suffer from imposter syndrome a lot. We see models, you know, in the media, a lot of white men building technology companies. And I wrote Sweet Success to really dispel the myth that entrepreneurs are this type of person, this sort of daunting, intimidating person that's building unicorns. I built a big business making a cupcake, something a child could make. So I want to invite more people to the table, give them the tools and the mindset to be able to go after their dreams and really take that leap. Wow. Your husband, Charles, who is actually in studio today hey, and was hey, so much fun uh, to meet <laughs> last night and hang out with at Pizzana. We're going to talk about Pizzana. When, when you two started this business, I mean, this was, I remember going to this location, that location in Beverly Hills, yeah. and my friend was like, you've got to come. This is the best cupcake you've ever had. And I thought, really? I was skeptical. Mm -hmm. Tasting is believing, right? Um, but this is something now, 200 million cupcakes and counting? That's a lot of cupcakes. It's a lot of cu cupcakes. And it really does start with having a great product, but it also is about the passion behind the business and, and having someone who believes in you. And really, I have to give Charles so much credit because I never thought of myself as an entrepreneur. I didn't have that modeled in my life when I was growing up. So Charles said to me, your cupcakes are amazing. I believe in you. Let's build this together. And that was really, his belief in me is what gave me the wings to go for it. And not everyone has that person in their life. So, you know, it's really all about finding your cheerleaders, building that community of support to really help you go after those dreams. I love finding your cheerleaders. You know, someone once said, when, when people don't clap for you, you notice the people who don't clap for you. Absolutely. So surround yourself with the people who are going to 
help that canoe move through the water. And lift that's, you up. That's right. Entrepreneurship, it's a hard journey, right? There's a lot of ups and downs. And so it is really important to have that like team behind you, that brain trust, that cheerleading support. Okay, it's a hard journey, but it's one that you chose, you choose over and over. You call yourself a serial entrepreneur. Yeah. So what is what is on your plate right now besides delicious pizza and cupcakes? Well, it's very much this is on my plate. <laughs> delicious pizza <laughs> is filling my plate. And that's because Pizzana is opening at River Oaks Shopping Center today. Day. Uh, you got a preview of our delicious pizzas last night. It was awesome. And you know, when I opened Sprinkles, people didn't believe in my idea because I was the first of its kind. But when my husband and I opened Pizzana in 2017 in LA, they didn't believe in it because they thought, pizza, there's pizza on every corner. What's going to make you guys different? Right. And so we are very dif different. We are award-winning, world-class pizza. Our chef is from Naples, Italy, and we are reinventing traditional Neapolitan pizza with this incredible slow dough that ferments over two days. We're shipping in our Fiorda Latte cheese from Italy. Wow. Our tomatoes are grown for us in Italy. So it's all about the quality of the products and the craftsmanship. It's delicious pizza, but not just that, salads, antipasti, pasta, great wine, cocktails, and of course, my dessert. Of course, dessert. <laughs> Okay, I'm telling you, look at this dessert. You will. This will be your new favorite spot in Houston. So it's right there at Shepherd and West Gray, across from the Barnes and Noble. Y'all are in like an old Starbucks space That's that right. you've created into this beautiful, beautiful spot. Uh, last night, I think I had a slice of gluten-free pizza. You have that <laughs> on the menu? I can't even tell you. People sometimes send this gluten-free pizza back because they don't believe it's gluten-free. Wow, okay. it is that good? It. W I w had no idea it was glu gluten-free until our friend told me. It is crisp, it is chewy, it has that same character that you know a pizza with gluten has. So if anyone out there is gluten-free, this is your new go-to spot. Also, vegan, vegetarian options. So we have something for everyone, including meat lovers, pizza. I mean- Well, this is Texas. You this gotta is have Texas. Meat. <laughs> and also our chef, Daniele, has created a very special pizza just for Houston, a carnitas pizza, that just sort of plays on the Tex-Mex bold flavors that Houstonians love. So oh, that's cool. come out and try that as well. You're such an inspiration, and I, that all sounds very delicious. I don't even know what cheese you said flown in from Italy, but I go, ooh, wow, <laughs> I want some of that. Please. It's a fresh mozzarella, but Fiorda Latte is different because it doesn't have so much moisture, so it doesn't weigh down the pizza with extra water. And the thing that's so great about our pizza, it has that character that Neapolitan pizza has, but you can still hold it like a slice. Americans want to pick up their pizza, but traditional Neapolitan pizza is kind of floppy. You have to eat it with a fork and knife. So that's where we're blending the two cultures together. Okay, we I love everything about it. I would literally eat whatever it. she just said. <laughs> okay. Whatever, I'll take it. Give me the box. Okay, here you go. One for you, one for you. <laughs> Thank you, Candice. We're gonna take a quick commercial break, uh, but after the break, we're gonna chat about a few things that I think might surprise our viewers, including your background and where you were born. Don't go away, we'll be right back. Okay, we are back with self-described serial entrepreneur Candace Nelson. You know her and love her uh, from Sprinkles Cupcakes, now Pizzana, which is open on West Gray and Shepherd. It's delicious. I can't get enough of it. Okay, you told me something last night that really shocked me. You were born in Jakarta, Indonesia. This is a very surprising fact for most people. I was born in Indonesia. I spent a lot of my childhood in Southeast Asia, and yet I've devoted my life to like classic American foods. Of course, pizza comes from Italy, but the way we're doing it is very American. Um, and when I was growing up in these countries that were so far away from my homeland, the way that I connected with the states and the home that I missed so much was through baking and bake. through food. And so food for me has always represented more than just a tasty treat, right? It's, it's represented belonging and connection. And so I think that's why I'm always drawn back to the table in some way. We we talked about true comfort at the beginning of the show, and that was her true comfort was the baking. Truly. So, but then you kind of, you know, we grow up and we yes. pretend we're adults, and yes. you went to an investment banking career, and Tell me how you one day woke up and said, okay, I'm going another route now. Yes, well, my dad was a corporate lawyer, so I grew up in a very risk-averse family, and I was taught to believe that you followed a certain secure corporate path, and that would lead you to security and success. But I ended up losing my job in the dot-com bust, and then 9-11 happened, 
And I, it just, everything was out the window, everything I believed. And I had this period of self-reflection and I had this epiphany that I wanted to follow my passion, reclaim my love for baking and go to pastry school instead of business school. Wow, and what did your parents say about that? You know, I think they were a little concerned. I think they thought it was a phase. Okay. They're always very <laughs> positive and they've always encouraged me, but I think they were worried that I wouldn't be able to support myself. Absolutely. Because I really was taking this high paying job and kind of throwing it all out the window and taking a big risk. Yeah. Your story, I think, probably resonates with so many people because we've all been at a point in our lives where we've thought, wow, am I doing the right thing? Is Am I on track? Am I totally off track? I know that your first uh, book that you published was a baking book, yes. a recipe book. Uh, and this book you mentioned before the break, mm -hmm. uh, Sweet Success, really talks about your passion and is inspiring for other entre entrepreneurs. But you spend a lot of your time not just opening new businesses, but supporting other entrepreneurs out there, primarily women and underrepresented groups because they need a leg up. They need a leg up. You know, women have the majority of the purchasing power in this country. And also, I don't know if you knew, but women businesses represent 40, 43 percent of all the businesses in the United States. But we receive less than 2 percent of VC funding, which is just crazy to me. So I am now mentoring, advising and investing in female founded, diverse founded businesses. And listen, if you're not investing, everyone can help by supporting female businesses, by purchasing their products, by you know forming community and being someone's cheerleader. So I'm also on Shark Tank this season as a guest shark, All right. and have made some fun investments, including um, a woman, Kristen Dunning. I'm supporting her Gently Soap, which is a botanical bar soap company, and she's a young black female founder. And I'm just so excited to be part of her journey as well. When you're one on one with these uh, female entrepreneurs, what what is, what is the overlying theme that you're seeing? What are you receiving that kind of you're surprised by? And what advice are you giving them? You know, really, for the most part, these women, they've got it. They just need the mindset, the encouragement, and the confidence to really get over that, you know, take that leap every day and just know that they're on the right path. Right. So I'm, I'm their cheerleader for the most part. You know, I, I'll make connections. Obviously, I help by writing a check, but it's really about just being a sounding board and offering my wisdom, advice, and encouragement. Right, like if you think they can do it, then they'll believe that they can do it because of all the success you've had. That's amazing. And she's been a rock star. She's winning all these grants, and um, I'm just so excited to watch her soar. Cool. Mm -hmm. Such an inspiration. Okay, can we chat about Texas a little bit? Yes. Because you have some deep roots in Texas, and there are a lot of people you love in this state. I have so many wonderful friends here, and in particular, Houston. I just love the people here. You guys are so grounded and warm and welcoming. People here are about family and food, and Pizza is the perfect place to celebrate <laughs> both, right? Yes. So, and I learned from bringing sprinkles here that when you can appeal to Houston, to Texan audiences, they'll be really, really loyal customers. And I think that's something incredibly special. So we hope that Pizzana will be that place that people really can rely on and come back to time and time again. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm sold on it. I think everything you're doing is wonderful. But what, is, what, is, what are your goals? I mean, you've achieved so much. So when people have done so much and, and they're a boss, yeah. it's like, what, what is next? What's going on? Well, we're continuing to expand in Texas with Pizzana. I want to continue to mentor and advise female-founded businesses. I also have two teenage boys that I'd like to get successfully launched as well. <laughs> so there's a little bit of personal ambition in there as well. I want to make sure they're all taken care of. Um, but I'm living my dream right now. So I'm just wanting more of the same. You're doing it all to sweet success. We didn't even really chat about that. And this is a show that you're not only starring in, but you're the executive producer. Of Sugar Rush. Yes. Oh, sweet Sugar success Rush. Was, it's all Sugar very Rush. sugary, okay. so it's easy to get confused. <laughs> yes. So yeah, so with Cupcake Wars, I was an on-air judge on the uh, Food Network for many seasons. And then with Sugar Rush, I got to step behind the camera as well, being an executive producer and creating a show that you can still find on Netflix and brings families a lot of joy. Might there be so more fun. TV shows up your sleeve? Well, you know, actually on Hulu, Daniele Uditi, our chef at Pizzana, I executive produced a show where he is the star of a pizza competition show. And as I said before, I'm a guest shark on Shark Tank. Perhaps you'll see me back on that show. And who knows what else is in the works? Oh my gosh. Spreading that light everywhere. <laughs> Spreading that light everywhere. We Candace love Nelson, it. You can do it all. Oh, you you truly, can do truly. it all. You know what? All it takes is a passion and the mindset and the confidence to be able to do it. And I just want to spread that, that confidence everywhere. You know, I want women to dream big and just go after their dreams. We love that. There you go. You hear that, viewers? Just take it. Take that confidence. That's some good Friday motivation <laughs> I know. right there. I'm going to start a business. Forget the weekend. <laughs>
Okay. You guys are doing just fine. Candace, it's great to see you. So Thanks great to see you. By. Thank you for nice the warm welcome. Yeah, yeah, go check out Pizzana. Trust me, you'll be putting a thank you note in the mail. You're going to love it. Uh, go see them at River Oaks, West Gray, and Shepherd. We do have a link on our website, HoustonLife.tv, where you can find more info. And he's serious about his recommendations. He will not recommend unless he's, like, tested, tried, and true.